In today's instructional video, I'm going to go over the song When I Fall in Love, version 2.7. I'll perform the arrangement as I wrote it and go back and talk about the chord voicings measure by measure. This is going to be in open position. Again, version 2.7. Sounds something like this. One and two and three and four and two and three. I added a couple of colors in there. Couldn't help myself. <laughs> All right, so the first chord is a triad, E flat major triad. So we know to play one, five, eight in the left when we play open position triads. One, five, eight, three melody. So now C augmented seven. Most of the time, the melody will be that raised fifth, and it is in this case. So there's my raised fifth, there's my third, and my left hand plays one, seven. We do not play the five because we're raising the five and putting it in the right hand. So it's three, seven, excuse me, we're at one, seven, three melody. Here's a three melody. And this is the fourth of the B flat chord. So we'll just kind of strike the one, five, seven in the left while holding the four. Now E flat major seven, it's a little low to play the seven and the left. However, we have to play it somewhere. So I like to play one, seven, three melody. Not quite as muddy as, as with the five. So one, seven, three melody. Again, the raised fifth is the melody. Remember, C plus seven means C seven with the raised fifth. And we always put the raised five in the right hand. It happens to be the melody. There's three melody. Strike the third. Back to a triad, one, five, eight, three melody. Now this one, if you can't reach it, roll it. You could play it high, closed, but it's so much fuller low. So just roll it if you need to. Back to our C augmented chord. Now here I played one, five, seven, three, seven melody. And I took my right hand and struck the third. Three melody. Again, the melody is the raised fifth virtually all the time when you have an augmented seven chord. So the melody is raised fifth. Play one, seven, three, melody. Three melody. Hold the melody, strike one, five, three, seven. Three melody. Three, seven, melody. Here is one, seven, no five because it's flatted. And it goes in the right. So it's one, seven, flat five, doubled seventh. And the melody is the third, right? You could even double that melody if you wanted to. Either way, here's our augmented chord. Three melody. I'm going to go here. One note in the right. Why? Because my next chord is right next door. Bass note. Three melody. Three raised five melody. Three, seven, melody. Can't reach it, roll it. Strike the third. Here we go, one, seven, three, melody. One, seven, three, melody. Three, 
seven or three melody. Strike the left hand. This is the four. You already got it. Two. I guess you could put it in the left. I don't like it in the left. Just play one, five, seven. And then we're going to go to one, seven, three melody. One, seven, three melody. Three melody. Strike the three here. One, five, eight, three melody. Three, seven melody. Three melody. Strike the third. Three, seven melody. Strike the third. Three melody. Now this A7, if we play the five in the left, it conflicts with the raised, excuse me, the flatted fifth in the right. So I should have written A7 flat five, knowing that that would mean to take out the regular five. Okay, so it's one seven, three melody, the melody being the flat five. Again, I should have written it as A7 flat five which would immediately turn a light bulb on in your head going flat five, I better take out the regular five, right? And the melody's with flat five, so we're good. Here's a three seven melody. Strike the third. Roll it, three seven melody. Here's a more beautiful chord. Three raise five, double seven melody, one seven. Right? Three seven melody, strike the third. Three seven, excuse me, one seven, three melody. One seven, three melody. Just the melody is the third. Three melody. And then our triad. One five eight, three eight. Let's go back. Okay. So that's when I fall in love in open position. There's lots of things we can do with this. That's for another video, but adding ninths, chromatic dominance, um, connecting bass notes, counter melodies, all kinds of different things. But that's the basic starting point. So have fun practicing this in open position. If you'd like to view some more instructional videos, go to my website, pianoweb.com. Click on the YouTube icon. That will link you over to my YouTube channel where I have 30 free for the viewing instructional videos. If you'd like to listen to some instructional audio podcasts, go to my website, pianoweb.com, click on the drop-down menu titled Podcasts, and there you can listen to 10 or 12 audio instructional files, so-called audio instructional podcasts. Have fun. Practice hard.